hello everyone in today's video i will show you a really good web ui for multiple llm models you can use multiple llm models like open ai gpt model gemini model cloud model and few other models also you can use on the same place you can use them on the same conversation like you create some part of the output using a model and other part of conversation using a different model so you can do that here that's why this web ui is very good for anyone who want to do some research or who want to use the llm so so let's explore these tools available on this web ui uh, the first one is here is you can select model so which whatever model you want to use to generate the output you can select it from here it supports gpt model gemini cloud model and other this few other models so another feature you have here is this clear context let's say you want to query something and it doesn't require anything from the top conversation so you can save some tokens and also it will not take this in consideration so simply click on here and it cuts the cuts the previous conversation and you can start new here let me show you what was my last message You can see it doesn't have access to previous messages. It thinks like it is starting uh, from on a new chat conversation. So that's why it is useful. You can revert it. Now if you ask it, let's regenerate the output. And it, it uh, sees this message. So it says, I asked for this code generation like you can see here so that's what it says you can simply use different model also and here another feature is the mask it's basically assistants you can select multiple i mean any assistant from this list or you can create one using this create button if you want to add some system prompt click on here go to system and write system prompt here and it's just some parameters like the bot name the model and other these parameters you can adjust yeah so that's how you can create you can go to that assistant this one i created is ocr text so let me show you what is in here this one have system messages like to read image text it have a name and the model is gpt 4 mini okay let's use this one this model to read ms let me upload an ms okay okay you have to write something here so let me write this one now since it have system prompt so it knows what to do so you see it, it extracted text exactly what in the image so that's how you can use a different assistant from the list it's a shortcut but here is the actual list i have only three assistants so let's go back to the python chat i can delete it like i, w I did the experiment and i don't need anymore so i simply delete it and here the another one is prompts okay it provides prompts like uh, these prompts are written by experts so if any prompt is helpful for you you can get it and use it and this one is for the theme since to light mode or dark mode or auto here is the image upload 
and here setting which is you can adjust the parameters for this model and you can uh, export this conversation so this was all the most important features for this LLM web UI I already explained those and other small features it also have you can explore those when once you install it so okay uh, let me show you how you can install it first you have to go to this repository this is free open source simply copy the URL or you can copy from here copy this one okay use this command git clone and then paste the URL it will download it once it download it go inside and then run this command npm install e this command will install all the node.js modules once this installed then run another command which is npm run dev when you run this command it will run the application and then you can simply use the application so okay one last thing I forgot to mention which is you need to set environment variable so let me do this you can use terminal like this ls la Here you can see there is a hidden file in env template. So copy that file and let's open it. So here you see the open AI API key and other API key. So this is how you have to set this API keys. And then you need to rename this file as dot env dot local or you can simply use a new file .env.local and write those API keys here and the format is you can get from this place so write this op open API key equal and the actual key here without the quotations so first you have to set this environment variable file and then you can run the npm run dev command and then you have to do nothing else then you will have this tool available to use so yeah this is all for this video thank you for watching see you in my next video